Hi, and welcome to Uscan Product Overview. Uscan is an AI-powered social media listening platform with industry-leading image recognition and ChatGPT-powered AI assistant. Uscan helps businesses to analyze consumer opinions, discover actionable insights, and manage brand reputation. During this short overview, I'll guide you through the main features and functions of the tool that will allow you to perform daily monitoring activities and get social insights with ease. So let's get started. Once you access your account, you will be forwarded to a home page where you will see all your currently running queries, which are grouped under the topics. Also, you'll be able to create a new topic. You'll be able to access your personal settings, your account settings, and you'll be able to hover over two additional features that we have in the tool. By clicking on the create topic button, you will see a constructor where you will basically need to perform just three main actions in order to create a new query. So you give a name to the topic, you insert a Boolean search query in order to get the idea of what type of Boolean queries uh, you need to use for your search query. You can simply hover over to this hint on the right sidebar and check the full list of the Boolean operators that we have. Also, if you hover over to the very bottom, you'll see that there is a link to our knowledge base. In our knowledge, knowledge base, you will see more extended explanation to all our Boolean operators. Once the Boolean operators are done, you will need to hover over to the filters and pick up the main filters for the topics, such as languages, geography of dimensions that you'd like to collect, type of sources, I, uh, you can pick up either by the type or by the name, and type of the posts you would like to collect. Once you're happy with all your settings, you can click on the show preview button, check whether you are fitting into the monthly limitations. If not, you can perform a data sampling option and just lower your results. Check the real mentions like the real examples and if necessary, adjust your Boolean query. And afterwards, simply click on the button next and you will see the second stage of the topic creation stage where you'll be able to insert text recognition uh, query. For instance, it could be like a brand name or uh, object names and also add a logo collection, which will bring you uh, additional results uh, related to your monitoring object. Let's say it's going to be a Burger King. And then just click on the create a topic and the, the, the tool will start the collection for your mentions. Uscan biggest strengths is its analytical capabilities. And by hovering over to the left sidebar, you will see different tabs, which are representing different types of analytics that you can, Uscan can provide you with. The main one, the general tab, uh, is responsible for giving you the idea of what's overall happening with the mention stream that you have, like what is the count of mentions, what is the count of engagement, what is the distribution between negative and positive mentions, you can hover over and check what are the aspects that people are mentioning along with your brand, what is the top sources, uh, what are the most frequently used phrases along with your brands. And on top of that, you can add additional filters if you need to specify your uh, analytics and work through a specific source. For example, you can pick up spe specifically Facebook and your entire analytics will turn into an analytics based on Facebook data only. Uh, you can add filters, but also you can change your statistical data, but not only the count of mentions, but the amount of engagement, amount of potential reach, comments, reposts, or impressions. Depending on your use case, you can change your statistical data and you will see different statistical results. Moving on, the next analytical section is the visual insights block, which is powered, powered by our visual and logo recognition. Our tool runs a lot of visual algorithms on a backend with the entire visual data set that you have in your topic. And in this particular case, you can analyze your visual data. For example, you can go to filters, you can pick up specific logo, for instance, a logo of McDonald's, and you can analyze what is happening with the, with the visual data of mentions related to McDonald's. So basically, what does the tool do? It 
uh, collects dimensions by the logo. It also analyzes what type of other objects are to, are within this picture, like burgers, French fries, um, fast food, finger food, whatsoever. What are the gender of the people? What they are doing, like smiling, eating, or crying, driving, whatever. And all those visual objects, they will be for like processed in form of the insightful analytics you'll be able to see what are the trending objects trending scenes or activities what type of activities or objects are driving the biggest or the lowest engagement and how these objects relate to each other moreover you will be able to do even the logo comparison among like within se several different topics and several different logos moving on to the third block which is the audience insights uh, this is the analytical part that is mainly used for influencer marketing. Here you can understand who is your audience, like what's their interest, like what is their main interest, what is the, what is the group of authors with the biggest subscribers base, whether their subscriber base is good in terms of the engagement, because we do have here several metrics uh, that are calculating both influencer score and the engagement rate of the post of these authors. Along with this type of data, we give you the idea of what is the demographics of the uh, audience in your topic, what they are interested in and what they do, like what's their main occupation. Uscan is the first social media listening tool on the market that incorporated the technology of the OpenAI into your accounts to make your summarizations and analysis of the data easier and faster. So that actually means that we are using the ChatGPT um, integration in order to process the data that you have in your topic. If you click here on the Insights Copilot, you will get the predefined questions that you can use in order to analyze your data sets. Or you can ask this assistant your own questions that would be based on your business objectives. So now let's take a look at some real-time examples. Let's just take a look at the pain points of the McDonald's users. You just click on the bottom pain points and the tool will automatically will start generating you the response to this question. It might take like, I don't know, 30 seconds to one minute in order to the uh, response to be generated, but you can already see that the tool applied specific set of filters before it will run the analysis. Once the analysis was performed, you will see the response from the ChatGPT here in the right corner. And each response will show you the examples based on which the tool and the integration build its assumptions or its answers. You can click on the examples. You will see again the type of responses the ChatGPT prepared for you. And you will see the exact examples from which the ChatGPT generated these or that response. You can always see the history of your questions. Here you can see your latest questions. You can go back to the home page and perform the analysis once again. Also, there are additional um, settings here. You can set up automated uh, Insights Copilot uh, analysis for trends and for aspects, or you can disable both of them. Along with the main analytics, the predefined analytics that we have in each topic, we have ability to create custom dashboards with more uh, in-depth data analysis and which will be tailored to your own preferences and your own business objective. By, by clicking on the custom dashboards, you will have an ability to choose one of the existing templates for the dashboards and pick up any topic uh, you would like to be analyzed and you would like your dashboard to be built upon. Uh, once you click on the create one of the templates, you will see right away the main analytical widgets. You can edit any of the widgets 
or you can add additional widgets if needed based on type of visuals you would like to uh, place in your custom dashboard. Uh, the main strength of the custom dashboards is the fact that we can share it with the external users. By clicking on the button share, you can copy your dashboard and you can share it to anyone without, who, who does not have the access to uScan and they will see it in form of the one page website and this data within this dashboard will be updated live. So basically your stakeholders will be up to date all the time in case they have the link to the shareable version of the dashboard. Also in the dashboards, uh, along with the templates that we have here, you can create a fully customizable dashboard from scratch. And actually you can perform competitor analysis, for example, within a dashboard and you can run the analysis of different topics within one widget. You will just need to add those different topics as segments here and perform the analysis for two, three, four brands, depending on how many competitors you have. And last but not least, in case you are missing the free spots in your main account, for instance, you just reached your limits, but you still need to very quickly run some research, you can hover over to the quick search option and perform some uh, quick research here. For instance, you can type a couple of keywords and you will get the analysis of your main monitoring objects or a couple of objects. And you will basically see the entire analytics the same like in your topic within a second. And you will be able to extract all this data in terms of exports and share it with your stakeholders. So that was a short product overview of the main features and functions of uScan. Our tool is definitely more complex than you might imagine, and you will definitely come up with different questions while working with the tool. So we highly suggest you to reach out to us via chat. We would be happy to answer to any of your questions. Moreover, you have an ability to read our knowledge, knowledge base articles that are covering most of the questions that might come um, in your head while working with the uScan. And we also really highly suggest you to go through our academy. We have a social media listening basic course there that will help you understand all main approaches that you can use in uScan in order to create social media listening, monitoring and reports. Thanks.